In 1852, the notorious outlaw James, Yankee Jim, Robinson found himself anxiously awaiting his sentencing in San Diego, California. His crime? Stealing the only rowboat in town. Surprisingly, the trial took place in the future Whaley House, which served as the county courthouse at the time. Yankee Jim had quite the reputation as a horse thief, and there were suspicions of his involvement in multiple instances of arson during the gold rush of 1849. After careful consideration, the judge determined that hanging was the appropriate punishment to teach Yankee Jim a lesson. Initially, Jim thought it was a mere joke, an attempt to scare him straight. He laughed it off, until two deputies forcefully escorted him outside, securing a noose around his neck and placing the towering six feet four inches criminal on a wagon. Due to his height and lanky frame, Yankee Jim's execution did not go according to plan. Instead of a quick and decisive end by breaking his neck, Jim suffered a slow and agonizing death by strangulation. The local newspaper reported that Jim stubbornly kept his feet on the wagon for as long as he could, but was eventually pulled off. He swung back and forth like a haunting pendulum until he met his demise, succumbing to the unforgiving grip of the noose. Following his violent death on the premises, it is widely believed that Yankee Jim's restless spirit lingered within the Whaley House in San Diego. Those who have worked in the house claim to catch fleeting glimpses of a tall and lanky figure out of the corner of their eye. Late at night, the ghostly presence of this grizzled outlaw can be heard, his heavy footsteps reverberating throughout the old house. It seems that Yankee Jim still harbors resentment, as the severe punishment that cost him his life did not align with the severity of his crime. Please like the video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily ghost stories. You can find our Southern Ghost Stories books over at Amazon as well as Barnes & Noble.